Battles and JB Commercial Finance here. I want to talk to you about three things you can do to make sure that your commercial lending request goes through as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Now commercial lending has a bit of a bad rep with regard to the time it takes things to go through, things that come along which weren't expected and hiccups occurring along the way. And to be honest most of that is justified. Um, compared to a residential mortgage or a small loan with a bank, yes it can take an awful long time for a commercial deal to complete, especially when there's an element of complication in there. So if there's an additional company, if there's tenants in a building, if there's a problem with the property, all those things can create delays. And a lot of that you can't do a huge amount about. But one of the points I'm going to mention here will help ease that process. There are a million things you can do to help smooth the passage of your commercial finance deal, but the three things I've got to choose today are as follows. Number one, talk to someone like myself first. Now, I have a lot of cases that come to me and a customer says, I've already bid on a property, or worse still, I've already bought this property at auction, I've now got a certain amount of days to complete. Well, that's okay to a point, but if there's an awful lot of pressure on someone like myself, or the bank, or whoever's arranging the finance for you, to make sure that's done as quickly as possible. And while things can be done quickly, they, um, mistakes can happen, unfortunately. So it's best to come to someone like me first of all, sound me out, find out is this a feasible proposition for me, because the last thing you want to do is make a bid on a property and then have to pull out because you simply don't have the available finance to make the completion. Very, very embarrassing, very frustrating. If you come to someone like myself first, so the formalities, the identification, all the forms signed are all in place, it can save a couple of weeks at the start of a deal and it puts us all in a much better position. Number two, do the same sort of thing with your solicitor. A lot of customers come to me and I advise them to use a certain solicitor or not and um, <clears throat> that's absolutely fine. But then they have to meet them, they have to go through the quoting structure, it, it just creates delays. If you have a solicitor in place early on, is very very helpful. Ideally at the same sort of time you're having the initial conversation with me about the finance. The solicitor can do the relevant identification searches on you as an individual. If it's a property you already own and you're looking to refinance it, they can do the relevant local searches. It just buys time and in this kind of process time is money. And number three, third and certainly not final, it's a very wide one. And that's basically respond when you've had a request made. In commercial lending, you do get little bits and bobs come back and forth. You get additional bits of paper you have to sign, questions about a property, questions about yourself as an individual, questions about your business. And you know what? Each one of those is asked by someone like me for a reason. We don't ask it for our own good. We don't really want to ask it at all. But if we ask you whether it's on an email or a quick call, get back to us, answer that question and move on. Because I've had lots of cases where one tiny little point an EPC certificate on a property, or three years of address history, or why is there a default back three years ago which no one knew about on your personal credit file, can be explained away very, very quickly, but those things can delay a deal, and each week can count. So if you get a bit of post, which needs a signature, get it done, get it sent the same day. If you get an email from someone like myself, or a call from someone like myself asking you a question, deal with it. Don't say, I'll do it tomorrow, and it sits down and waits five, six, seven days. Get it off your desk, get it back onto someone like mine, so then you can hassle me. Because if there is a delay along the way, and it is your responsibility, someone like myself or the lender is going to come back to you and say, I asked you that question, you didn't respond to it. I chased you about it, you didn't respond to it, and that's the reason for the delay. The inclination is to blame the lender, or blame the solicitor, or to blame the broker, but well, actually, I would say 80, 90% of cases that come to the delay which leads to a complaint, actually, ultimately, it's down to the client not doing what they're asked to do in the first place. Okay, very, very quick that. There are a million reasons why a commercial deal can stall, um, but we get them, most of them across the line eventually. Um, but there's just little free things which may help you. Um, hope that was useful for you. I'm James Blackhorse. My business is JB Commercial Finance. Thanks very much.